everybody, Robert with Bugging Me TV here, and today we are actually taking our first official RV trip. And we are in the Jeep right now. Bug is driving, or Julia as I like to call her, but everybody else calls her Bug. We're out driving, and today we're actually taking our cats with us for the first time. And as you can tell, they're not real happy. Say hi, everybody. Yes, they're they're they are throwing a fit. They've never actually had to uh, travel by kennel very often, so they're not too happy about it. Mira is the one that's super noisy. She's the only one who's ever had to ride in those kennels, and usually it's to go to the vet because she's sick or something. She starts to panic when you put her in that kennel because she thinks she's going to the vet. But in this case, she's going to a really cool place. We're gonna take her to Disney's uh, Fort Wilderness Campground. Uh, so it's a lot of firsts for us, and we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride. Hey everybody, it's Julia. Boy is driving. I will turn it around so you can see the road. The boy is driving. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> Somebody's being brave and checking things out, aren't you? Yeah. There's Julia. And I'm behind the camera. Got the chair swiveled around. We kind of mentioned before that uh, some things have changed in the RV and in our lives in the last few months. And uh, right now we just got ourselves parked at the Fort Wilderness Campground. And let me tell you, if you've got a big rig you really got to have some patience and some nerves of steel. I didn't think there was any way I was going to get this thing backed in. But it worked, and it worked the first time, which was amazing. Let's talk a little bit about some of the changes we made to the RV. First thing you're going to notice is there is no longer a television right above our dashboard. We removed it and put this cool atomic clock right here. We really aren't going to use that TV ever. It's just in our way. We did leave all the wiring and everything in there. The second thing you'll notice is that the bed is gone. We had the bed removed again because it's not something we're ever going to use and it's just in our way. So we left the cables and the harness and everything is all tucked away on the right hand side here. The next major change we made, besides the cat, is the sleeper sofa is gone. We pulled that out because their little pet tent is going to go there when uh, once we're done getting everything set up and we get the other two cats out, they're currently hiding in the tent underneath the cushion. When everything is closed off, we actually have a clear pathway all the way back to the bathroom. The last thing we did is we took out this table right here that was coming out like this. That's where we wanted to put the cat box. And now we have a nice little bar top area here where we can work and, and look out the windows if we want to. 
you'll notice all of the valances have been pulled down all the way across and we've put blackout curtains everywhere with the exception of the front. The final thing that I did, and I'll go ahead and put this into park mode, is I have my digital mirrors installed so I can now see straight down so when I'm backing in, I know exactly where I am on the road. And then I have a wide angle view. And then over here on the passenger side, it's the same thing. So once I get my clearance in the rear view mirror or in the side mirror, and I know I'm in my spot, I'm golden. And then we also have a 360 degree camera system, which yes, I know by looking at it, it is not calibrated. I do have calibration tape coming so that we can properly calibrate it and make the cameras look decent so right now I pretty much leave this off and uh, seems like our cat really wants to know what's going on and and check things out she just realized that there's a giant window up there that she can hang out in I'm gonna come over here yeah yeah so the other thing we got here is I still have my backup camera on the main menu here so I can I can look at that if we come back here to the back, we got everything opened up and cleaned out. The last piece is we removed the bed. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why on, in your right mind would you remove the bed? And it's very simple. We want to be able to work uh, in this RV full time, and this allows us to have two workspaces, one at the front, one at the back, and we have a much larger space here. We can actually use the bed when the slides are closed, queen size couch that actually has a, a pole on it and when you pull it out it turns into a queen size bed so you'll actually have a, a proper sofa seat sitting here uh, we were going to originally put the sleeper sofa from the front in here but unfortunately uh, the bulk of, of the padding and everything it wouldn't fit between the spaces properly so I got something different but you can see even here we've got the blackout curtains and then coming in here into the shower we did it here as well. Now the other, the last thing I did was uh, change out the TV because the uh, TV that they gave us was pretty poor and it was only a 32 inch. This is actually a 40 inch. Uh, so it looks much better. I've got our Bluetooth speaker system. I've got our Apple TV hooked up. Uh, all of our internet's working. I actually um, set up in here, we have Verizon 5G home internet. And as a backup down here, I also have T-Mobile 5G internet, unlimited, unthrottled. So no matter where I am, I'll be able to use my internet. And I have a router that will hook the two of them together and give me load balancing so I can have two 5G connections. But right now, everything is working great. I've got my Mac Studio in here instead of my Mac Mini with all of my hard drives in here. I now have eight terabytes in here so I can watch localized media rather than streaming if I don't want to. But we'll cover more now that we're actually here and we're parked, we're set up. We're gonna try and get, uh, get the cats to come out and relax a little bit and then uh, we're gonna go check out the campground.